What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and I'm back with a brand new video for y'all. Get a good look. Get a look. You know, I'm getting a little fancy and filming myself right now. I got a couple videos going on. I got four videos. No, correction, five videos. And not only do I have five videos that I did today for y'all, I've been filming. I've been working. I've been feeling the energy. I got a good vibe. And since I have a good vibe, and this is number five, you already know what's coming. For those that know, your boy Ricky Rick is back with another five facts of Ricky. So here we go. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. <coughs> Fact number one, your boy Ricky Rick is honest. It's true. Your boy Ricky Rick is very honest. I'm a very honest person. I like to be honest and straightforward with those I call friends, those who are close to me. I like telling people straight up, flat out how it is. Number two, your boy Ricky Rick is not afraid to hurt someone's feelings. And this is true. The reason why I say it, not to look big, buff, mean, or make myself look like an asshole that some people might consider. The reason why I'm not afraid to hurt someone's feeling is because, let's put it this way. Let's put it in this scenario, in this situation. Your boy, Ricky Rick, you know, used to have a best friend. And when I had a best friend, you know, I used to drive to her house, park outside, and I'd be looking fresh as I always do. Ready to go out and hang out with my best friend. And my best friend will still be getting out of the shower, doing her makeup. And I'm like, God damn, hurry up. <laughs> you know? And I'm pretty sure it happens to a lot of guys. But while I was in her room waiting for her to get ready, I would be like, you know what? I don't like how that looks like you. I like that. Not to hurt her feelings, but because I was looking out for my friend. I was looking out for her. And I wanted her to look her best and... I like some of the things that she put on. And I don't see her that way, but like her as a friend, I think she looks good by wearing that and this. And I just gave her, what do you call it? My opinion. My opinion. And she liked it. And she respected me. And it made us friends, close friends, made us best friends. And it made our relationship and our friendship stronger. Because, you know, you can ask people. You can ask five people. What do you think? What do you think of me? Oh, he's okay. He's all right. And then you have that one person that's going to be, you know what? You know, I think that you're like this, but I don't really like when you're like this. And da, 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 da. And they're going to tell you straight up. And then you might have a reaction like this. What? And that one reaction, when you hear something who's someone who's being honest, you're not going to be used to. So you react like, damn, what'd you say about me? You know? Number three. Hmm. What could be number three? Facts about Ricky. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> when it comes to lying, your boy Rick Rick. Hmm. Have I lied? Yes, I have. Also, in the same situation, I lie sometimes because I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. And I believe they don't have the strength or the heart to handle it. So... Sometimes your boy Ricky Rick lies in order to protect that person. It's probably sometimes not the right thing to do, but sometimes you feel like it's the right thing to do because you want to look out for that person because you care about that person and you don't want to see that person sad or hurt. So your boy Ricky Rick does lie. Not all the time, once in a while. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, motherfuckers. I see you guys are like, oh, he's a fucking liar. Da -da. At least I'm honest about it, bitch. Fact number four. Fact number four. What can I say? Hmm. What can I say? I'm trying to think, man. I didn't really think about these. You know, I just... Whatever's on top of my head. What can I tell you guys about me? What's interesting about me? Or what can I say that you guys might be... Okay. I'll do this since this happened last night. Ready? It's going to be weird. It might freak you out. It might turn you off. It might turn you on. It might lead to some great conversations. Your boy Ricky Rick likes having not only sex. Not only do I like having sex, but I like having sex combos. 
It slipped. Sorry. There it is. It's out there for the world. Fuck. Don't judge me. It's out there. And I'm not the only one. And I like talking to it in a mature manner as well. Not only in a freaky deaky way, but in a mature manner. Because it leads to some interesting topics. And it's nice to hear women's perspectives, thoughts, and opinions. Because I'm tired of hearing of men. I want to hear some women. So I like it. <clears throat> Fact number five. Fact number five. Hmm. I'm going to throw this in. It's a curveball. It's no big deal. Your boy Ricky Rick is a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. That's right. Your boy Ricky Rick is a big fan. And I'm thinking about going and checking out Dragon Ball Z Broly. I want to check it out. And I'm not ashamed to say it. It's probably the last animated cartoonish. I call it cartoonish because it's animated. Show that caught my attention before I decided to go full grown adult. <laughs> That's it. That's all the five facts of your boy Ricky Rick today. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Hope I make you laugh. Hope you guys love the energy, the serious tone, and the serious hype. I get it going. I feed off you guys' energy. And I want to say I appreciate the love and support. And thank you guys for supporting me all this time. Until next time, your boy Ricky Rick. Rick.